Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about Bob Harper. He's a fitness trainer for uh, the TV show called The Biggest Loser. He had a heart attack last year and he wrote this book. And I'm going to talk about the details of this. Um, but he's been with the show for 13 or 14 years, working out a lot. And he's probably doing the diet that they teach on the show, which is low calorie, low fat, higher carb, higher protein compared to the fat. Lots of exercise. As a matter of fact, he went vegan from 2010 to 2013, which for him was not sustainable. Um, he had to eat some animal protein because he said his body needed it. And I can see that to be true because of the amount of exercise that he was doing. So since he's had the heart attack, he's now eating a 40-30-30 diet. So 40% protein, um, calories. 30% of the calories come from carbohydrates and 30% of the calories come from fat. So that's called the zone diet. You can call it the Mediterranean diet. You can call it a bunch of different words. Forget it. Forget the words. Let's just talk about numbers. So his protein and carbs are too high. His fat is too low. And now in the book he talks about lipoprotein A. His, this is a factor for clotting of the arteries and, and placking. And his is high. Well, mine was too, and I lowered it. He's been told you can't lower lipoprotein A. That's what they say in medicine. But in the holistic nutrition world, you can lower it. So with the tests that I run on myself and my patients, it's supposed to be less than 75. And on June of 2016, it was 131, probably because I was eating too much protein. And um, what I did is I cut out all fruit, and I lowered my protein a little bit, but I doubled my fat. And then I, by October, it was down to 106. And then February of 2017, it was down to 91. And then no, uh, <clears throat> November of 2017, down to 89. So it dropped 68% in a year and a half. And that's what it takes. It's a, it's a marathon here. It's long term. You can't expect to lower this down and to normal in six months. Now, I've had people who scored at 10. So that's my goal. I'm just going to bring mine down to 10. And I'm cycling in and, out, <clears throat> excuse me, in and out of ketosis to do that. But mostly I'm eating high fat, low carb, moderate protein. And I'm just on the edge of being in nutritional ketosis. And then some days I go deep into it. But most days I'm just more, more on the edge. So what uh, Bob is doing is he's loading up on the carbs. That's what he was told to do. And he wrote this book, The Super Carb Diet. So I'm going to read a couple uh, phrases out of here. Um, Trendy diets tell you that you can't have carbs. I don't know of any diet that tells you you can't have any carbs. But I want bread. So does Oprah. So do you. I want to eat a sandwich at lunch without feeling like I'm committing a crime. Okay, forget the guilt. You can still have carbs when you're cycling in and out of ketosis there's just days when you have more and days when you have less okay next page i want to go to is um carbs don't make you fat he's got a whole chapter labeled carbs don't make you fat i don't know what science he's got that from but the bottom line is you got to compare the protein and carbs versus the fat the standard american diet which is horrible is a one to four ratio, and the super carb diet is a one to six ratio. I did all the math. He's got all these recipes. He's got all his macronutrients listed out here. So I sat down with a calculator. I added up all protein and carbs for his for five days in a row. Compare that to the fat grams, and it's a one to six ratio. This will increase your lipoprotein A. This will cause a heart attack, cancer, and diabetes. So don't do the super carb diet. Now, a better ratio is one to one, and that for, a lot, for some people will get you almost into ketosis, maybe into it, but a one to two ratio would be even better. The other aspect about his diet is it's four meals a day. So you can have four meals a day, and that's not good either, because you're constantly spiking up your insulin, and you want to bring that down to two meals a day with no snacks, and the meals are uh, very satisfying because the fat is higher. And if you're retired and you don't have anything going on during your days, just eat one meal a day 
no snacks. That would be super beneficial for your health. So there's my book review on the super carb diet. Now, I've watched a lot of videos that people put up about his diet and his heart attack, and they said, Bob, you need to get back to a vegan diet. But he was already a vegan for three years, and he couldn't do it. It's not sustainable. It is, a not, it is not a natural diet. None of our ancestors were vegans. Um, our bodies are omnivores. We are not herbivores. And I have this graphic right here to show you the comparison chart of anatomy regarding um, omnivores and, and herbivores. So um, I saw this at a grocery store. I read through it. And I thought, this is ridiculous. And I put this back on the shelf. And then me and my girlfriend went to dinner. We left. We went to a restaurant and had dinner. And I said, we got to go back. I got to buy this book. I got to read it. Because this is what you're not supposed to do. So here's a lesson in what not to do. So if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe and share. Thanks.